Hello, Kang friends. So today is part five of all my completed pages videos, and today I will show you the rest of my coloring printed coloring books. Uh, different, uh, some Chinese, some Korean, Japanese, uh, smaller format coloring books, and there will be. Uh, yet another part with all my PDF uh, completed pages. Uh, so let me start from this Indian coloring book, Patterns of India. Actually, it's not Indian, Thames and Hudson, it's British edition, I believe. I mean, uh, publisher, yes. It's British but dedicated to India. It's a very beautiful book. Here we have we can see original photos of um, some architecture, some mosaics, and then an illustration inspired by this original um, structure element wall, something like this. And I have only this spread completed and I can say that I'm happy with the result. I used water-based markers here and everything looks rather, I don't know, simple. I don't like it, honestly. <laughs> so I think next time if I decide to color something in this book I need <coughs> to put more effort because really beautiful illustrations <coughs> and I don't want to color them in such a way that I'm not um, satisfied with the result. <coughs> the next is Chinese coloring book a Google Lee find color. I have several completed pages here. This was the first one that I did in this book watercolor background with these golden um, elements. Uh, then <coughs> this little girl with kitten, strange weird looking kitten I would say, <laughs> his face expression. Here everything done with pencils only. And this kind of double spread. Uh, this page everything done with pencils. And here pencils and watercolor pencils for the background. Another Chinese book. Shanghai Jing, I believe its name is dedicated to Chinese mythology. At the start I really like it, but I don't color in it. Just a few completed pages, I don't know, maybe this style is not for me or what. So what I did here, this illustration. This is colored pencils and this fog kind of acrylic Then another picture is done with watercolors and again I don't like it. Of course this paper is not for watercolors. Then you get result like this and little bit of iridescent watercolor as well. And the last one is this guy in blue color. Again, like I'm not quite happy with this picture. One more Chinese book. Don't remember the name of this one. A lot of ghost portraits in this book. I have this one completed used markers, pencils here I think 
and another one. Uh, this one, like goddess of fire and um, ice. That's why these color combinations. Her color is like fire, and her jewelry like made of ice. Korean coloring book, uh, fairy tales. I love um, their interpretation of famous European fairy tales <laughs> in Korean style. Paper it seemed to be thick, but it's actually not that good. So I have this double spread completed. This one done with pencils and soft pastel for the, for the background and some sparkle on the wings and this one I did with watercolor and this one looks rather nice I think watercolor pencils for the background but you can't see much it's like lavender color some metallic gel pens for decorations another Korean book princess this one is out of print book and what I have here this umbrella illustration and Chinese bride with some wedding banner um, this one uh, goes from around the world uh, Korean book love the theme, love the pictures but only one double spread is done and actually I was working on it um, just maybe two weeks ago because I wanted to change something I uh, framed this part colored this part that it looked like one picture because uh, we have this part of her costume um, going on this page and then when I colored the ground only here it looked rather stupid so I framed this one, added background here and also I decided to add uh, names of countries that these costumes represent So and, and I'm going to color uh, in this style adding uh, writings on this part of illustrations and Yet another Korean book, uh, car tarot cards. Interesting illustrations here, but only one completed page. This one, the sun. Uh, next is Giant Mandala's coloring book by Jane Sneden Peaver, 21 uh, illustration and this book is completed. I have separate video but since I'm showing all my completed pages in this video so I will show you real quickly. I colored uh, this um, illustrations as well so it's more than 21 and this page introductory and here are the mandalas themselves I like that they are rather big in size and I, I like their design style so they look beautiful when colored 
as always with mandalas I use different uh, media and markers and watercolor pencils and gel pens uh, gel crayons water base markers I like this one they look beautiful when colored and it's nice to see a complete book <laughs> I have only two completed books and now I will show you the second and the second is smaller uh, this Russian edition book Africa uh, 16 illustrations and as I told it's completed this was the first one so it's not that bright I tried to use pencils uh, but then decided that uh, in such kind of book it's better to use something brighter and something um, simpler in work like water based markers is um, illustrations are on both sides so I had to choose carefully um, to see that it won't bleed through sometimes you can see somewhere just a little bit like here but it just a little bit it was very relaxing <laughs> working on this book and I'm happy this one is done and have another book by same publisher uh, this is like ethnic patterns uh, again 16 illustrations but I completed 6 I believe this one colored this year I haven't shown it yet then I have this again this one more recent and for this illustration I didn't check my um, markers and just kept coloring and after that I looked on the other side and it looked terrible everything bleed through uh, that you can couldn't see the actual illustration I was very upset about that then I decided to save this illustration and I colored it with acrylics and gouache and now it looks nice though you still can see a little bit of bleed, bleeding somewhere but on the whole it looks like yeah nice picture I'm happy I was able to save it and I would like to finish this book as well not that many uh, pictures to complete is left so maybe next book is good this is by Kokovayo oh, I love pictures here so beautiful but the paper is not that good I colored one picture here I love the result uh, but if you look carefully you can see that there is like some wrinkles on her face I mean on paper <laughs> I will show you the other side see such paper even from pencils it becomes like this so when you have such kind of paper uh, you are not that much in mood to work on it but I will continue I will try because I love illustrations here another book is Anya and her wings it was a gift from one of my blogger friends 
it's her book and um, she has illustrated book and she has a coloring book uh, as well a bit childish illustrations but I did color one picture here again very simple I would say too simple maybe it was three years ago now I think I would ha have colored it better next one um, Heian picture scrolls Japanese uh, coloring book uh, Yunko Suzuko I ah, love this theme, Japan. Have this double spread completed. Here I used watercolor and um, Kohenor watercolor pencils. The paper in this one is rather good. And then second double spread is this one. Some patterns. And I added this. Japanese words mm, don't remember exactly I believe it's spring and winter and another book by same artist uh, this is Kabuki theater picture scrolls but this is Japanese edition and paper is not that good in this book again I did one illustration and it was not easy coloring. I like everything except this uh, wall. Next comes one of my favorite books, Moon Blossoms by Katrina Pallon. And I have, I believe, six completed pages here. I wish I did more and I'm planning to do more in this book because I really enjoyed illustrations and paper in this book is very good I work with uh, polychromos and, and don't light fast look how bright these pencils are on this paper and effortless you know they um, layers uh, very easily they give pigment very easily then when you enjoy working on paper you feel like coloring more in such book and of course I love illustrations themselves the theme that's the style of pictures Cambodian dancer Apsara and Tibetan girl in beautiful headdress next book is Mythos by Patrick Ol Alvarez it's dedicated to Filipino mythology a very interesting style a very interesting characters uh, those some pictures to be honest they're really scary looking but I love it still I'm happy to have it, to enjoy it as an art book, looking at these pictures. And I have colored one picture so far, this one. Uh, this goddess helps um, sea men, I believe. want to work more on, on this book. Next one, Tales from the Stars, Anna Merzinska. Very good book, thick cover, nice paper, beautiful illustrations. Uh, I got this book this year, so 
I don't have it for that long. Only one picture completed and I enjoyed this paper. Very nice card with pencils and some Posca for these smaller details. Uh, Jason Hamilton, uh, Beautiful Women of the World. Again, women in different costumes from around the world. That's what I like to color. Uh, but so far only one completed page, this Tibetan girl. As you can see, a uh, very uh, different costume from the one from Katrina Palon coloring book. Because they're from different regions of Tibet. Very beautiful. I mean costume. <laughs> My coloring, yeah, okay, I think. Love her face. Uh, Dragon Dreams, uh, Morgan Fitzsimmons. That's another thing that I like, dragons. But this book, uh, it has two similar illustrations. And um, as you can see, and what I have only one picture completed this one Mud of Dragons, rather simple, I would say, but nice. And another book by the same artist, uh, Fine Enchantment. Uh, here I have three completed pages, three fairies uh, with different uh, color hairs. Uh, this one with blue, uh, then yeah. this one with black hair, color with prisma on this paper. Christmas look works nice and this one with greenish hair the only color by number book that I have mandalas at first I started coloring by numbers but I really didn't like it and after that I started coloring just choosing my own colors Tried water color, uh, water based markers here, not that I like it, and then mostly I used uh, gel pens in this book. This one uh, colored by number. And this one. Magic Gate Tarot deck by Vera Petruk. Uh, this year's book and only one completed page so far. This one High Priestess. Hmm, nothing special. Just and I have one whip here which I planned to finish before New Year, but I think I won't be in time because I have some other whips as well. Celtic Mandalas by Lisa Tenzin Doma. Uh, this picture I colored long ago. And the second one, uh, recently it was one of my whips which I finished. Colorful Cats Relax with Art uh, magazine. One of my first coloring books, of course. I don't buy uh, this type of uh, books nowadays. And three completed pages. This one done with acrylic. Uh, then 
Some are really cute illustrations. This one with watercolor pencils. And the last one, I think water-based markers, pencils and soft pastel for the background. Looks rather cute. Uh, jewelry coloring books uh, book not books this is by hatchet I liked some portraits here and that's why I got it but then another whip uh, portraits like this uh, but then I was not happy with the paper I don't know so I I've done only this two pictures and done with markers yeah, and pencils some bleeding through a lot of illustrations like this like wall, wallpaper so I didn't like that then three books of Russian edition uh, this one Russian fairy tales interesting style when you look sometimes you can't see properly what it is but when you color it it looks nice with some here mostly work with uh, water-based markers again um, double-sided illustrations and you have to choose carefully and this one And one more, yeah, this one. Another is Mystical Creatures, same publisher. A rabbit from Alice, Perry. This one, this year's work and this dragon and that's it and the third is Slavic motifs and then this one and this one Next comes Saga Farm Water by Chintaka Hirat and only one completed page this moment in ice cube actually not cube ice rock maybe you call it Coloring for Meditation by Tashi Dargyal, a Buddhist theme coloring book. And recently I visited one exhibition with Buddhist art and so beautiful illustrations um, like this type made with gouache and I felt so uh, inspired and wanted to come home and try to color <laughs> but of course I didn't no time no mood but I still want to try and see how how it will look at the end so far I have only this picture completed with watercolor pencils Uh, color my sketchbook mythic by Bennett Klein not that many illustrations here only 26 it would be possible to finish this book uh, but I don't color in it that often maybe I should some are really scary looking pictures here like this one 
or this one. But actually these illustrations are um, colored very easily, I mean rather quick. Uh, you start and you can, I can finish it in two days usually. So I don't know why I don't color more often in this book. Fairies 3 by Christine Karen. I have a few completed pages by Christine in a PDF printed but in this book only one again I don't know why I didn't, I didn't color in this book again maybe matter is um, with paper Lush Life by Doreen Castle very lovely illustrations in this book they are rather simple on the first sight uh, but a lot of detailing and they look so nice really love it but again why I don't color in it only one page completed uh, this one and I try to use watercolor here for background looks a little bit too dark I think but it's okay shy. not so bad Shadowscapes by Stephanie Law again only one completed page and I didn't like the result maybe that's why I don't color in this book anymore. I look through it and I do love some pictures. I would love to color them, but I don't. I don't know what's the matter. Maybe I'll try to color in it next year. Same with this book. Uh, this call by Paul Kidby. Only one completed page double spread and that's it used metallic acrylic acrylic here and some pictures are really funny and I love them but again don't color now I will show you a couple of books that I even forgot about because I don't color in them anymore and I put them far away <laughs> and forgot about them but now I wanted to count all my uh, coloring books and all illustrations so <clears throat> I took this out as well uh, this is like um, nature mazes and this book I completed only one page It's and it started to be like this uh, so of course you don't feel like coloring anymore in such book uh, mostly like flowery designs and only this page complete another book is um, The Sea a very simple John Besford kind of style illustration uh, even more simple like this and I colored three pictures here and that's it it was the very start of my coloring and this one was with <coughs> colored with uh, oil pastels Uh, next book uh, Mandala Design Handbook I was gifted this book it's very thick like 500 pages 500 mandalas uh, but it's like um, the paper is very smooth and it's not possible <coughs> to use pencils and even water-based markers, only uh, alcohol markers 
they don't bleed through and they look rather bright uh, but that's it I try to use gel pens here but it takes ages to dry looks nice but yeah you, you have to wait for a long time not to smudge and this one I even didn't bother to do background next Nepali coloring books uh, color Nepal a very, <coughs> very simple book I bought it to support local artists and what I call it here yeah this um, pictures in Mithila style something else I believe they colored ah, yeah this mandala and another Nepali uh, book this one I like better more interesting illustrations festivals of Nepal but here I call it only one see these pictures are more interesting Goods and Beasts Adam Fisher I have quite a lot of completed pages here but this book is rather thick I believe 100 illustrations here so it's far from finishing this mm -hmm. book though a lot of completed pages but still a lot to color and here I use markers and pencils a rather simple style of pictures so I color them like in this bright uh, style with a little bit of shading I'm not trying to color in I don't know magical way but I do love results they look interesting have two whips in this book this one and one more which again I plan to finish before New Year maybe I will this too because not much work is left to do today I'm showing you in rather quick way because I want to finish <laughs> today in this part with all the books <coughs> yeah another whip and this one Metamorphosis by Amelie Bernatan rather weird illustrations here but uh, funny I love them uh, though there are some pages that you think why they include them in such kind of book would be better without them like wallpaper type of pictures like this they could leave only illustrations of this type I would be more happy than to have this filling in the book you can double double-sided illustrations and so you, you have to be careful with choosing what to color with and this one this is a very thin book small from Cambodia and I colored this picture 
first time on Mars, I call it. <laughs> Wind Beauty. Five different artists in this book. I colored four of them. Illustrations uh, by four. This one by Ruth Sanderson. Very beautiful book. Uh, then this one, Stephanie Lu. Here I colored only with um, Castle Arts Pastel pencils set and so it looks like no death not enough contrast sometimes I'm thinking about adding some darker areas here after all because I'm not quite happy how it looks now uh, then this one by Kuri Good Godby And the last one is one uh, Renee Taylor. Escape to Christmas Past, Good Wives and Warriors. One of my first coloring books. And at the time I didn't have a lot of books. So I colored more often in this book. So, um, quite a lot of completed pages, though colored in a simple way. Uh, I tried different techniques here, different materials. Uh, I didn't think much about creating something amazing. I just colored, depending on my mood. As you can see, some pictures uh, have uh, no colored backgrounds but nowadays I don't color in this book uh, maybe from time to time I color one picture in this one and second um, escape to Shakespeare world and same These are more recent, so you can see a little bit different. I mean, recent, maybe two years ago, year three, I colored. And the very first are these. <laughs> you can see, look more simple, even more simple than others and escape to Shakespeare world a little bit less completed pages in this one because I got it later mm. this one again maybe two years ago colored This one also maybe two years ago. This one I like. Ophelia. This one was colored with double uh, WH Smith colored pencils, but everything looks bright. Not bad pencils, very budget, but rather good for such price. Highlighters I used here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the Beauty of Horror Ghost of Christmas, Alan Robert. I wanted this book, but when I got it, I colored this one and this one, and that's it. <laughs> and then I don't color anything in it. Mm, don't know why. There are the funny pictures. 
uh, The Princess Coloring Book and Kronheimer. Uh, what I have here, a couple of pages. This one. This one rather uh, recent. Uh, full hard prompt I colored it, I remember. Then this was the first one colored here, as you can see again, looking more pale. And another one. This one. Very cute uh, book. Uh, Dragon's Kingdom uh, by Juliana Emerson. Have only two completed pages here. Uh, this one and this one with markers. And the last for today book is Alice in Wonderland which I call Ugly Alice <laughs> because uh, look at this Alice I don't know <laughs> who drew this um, and I have officially two completed pages here this one and this one and I have one more Cheshire Cat I colored and use it uh, in my diary so I don't have it here. Oh, that was for today. Rather long video, but I'm done with um, printed coloring books, and the last part is going to be uh, about my PDF completed pages, and then I will summarize all the results, how many pages I have colored on the whole, how many books I have. Uh, so. All this we'll find out in next part. And for today that's all. See you next time. Bye.